This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by HostGator Web Hosting. So, over the last couple of days, we've been talking about outrageous civil liberty, civil liberty abuses uh, by the government. Uh, and one guy who seemed to be standing up uh, to the government was Rand Paul. And I actually gave him credit for that. On the Patriot Act, he said, hey, some of these provisions appear to be unconstitutional. I agree with him. Uh, and we had some disagreements over which provision uh, was most important. Of course, in the end, Rand Paul insisted most on the provision that does not allow us to check on whether terrorists are buying guns. So I disagree with that entirely. But where we're talking about our privacy rights, uh, then uh, Senator Paul and, and I agree. All right. So he seemed to be on the side of civil liberties. All of a sudden, he goes on Sean Hannity's radio program and says something outrageous. Let's listen. Now you set yourself up to be called a bigot because now you want to profile people at the airport. Well, no, you can't win, Rand. I mean, I know, they, they've I got an answer for everything. <laughs> But here's the thing, Sean, is I'm not for profiling people on the color of their skin or on their religion, but I would take into account where they've been traveling, and perhaps you might have to indirectly take into account whether or not they've been going to radical uh, political speeches by religious leaders, but it wouldn't be that they are Islamic. But if someone is uh, attending speeches from someone who is promoting the violent overthrow of our government, that's really an offense that we should be going after. They should be deported or put in prison. So you should be arrested or deported for going to the wrong kind of speeches? Well, how about speeches you don't agree with? How about you went to go check it out? I went to a Tea Party speech, and I don't agree with those guys at all. If they say something crazy, should I go to jail over it? What if you're a bystander walking by the speech? Do you get arrested? And how about the First Amendment, Rand Paul? Have you ever heard about that? Do you know that legally, even if you give a speech that is violent, it's still not illegal? let alone attending a speech where someone else talks about violence. It becomes illegal when you direct it at a certain individual and you say, here is the person that we should commit violence against. Now, the reason why that law is so strident is because we care so much about freedom of speech in this country. That's why we want to give wide leeway to speakers, let alone to listeners. <laughs> that proposal by Rand Paul is more egregious than any other violation I've seen during the Obama or Bush administrations. It makes me wonder if this guy has any idea what he's talking about. And by the way, who's the first guy who would get arrested under this provision? Of course, Rand Paul. He was at a militia event and a blog called Barefoot and Progressive. Uh, Joe Sanka wrote about it there. Very good point. The guys doing the speeches there were holding assault rifles. And Rand Paul attended. He spoke. He certainly listened. And they kept constantly referring to possible violence to overthrow the government. In fact, it doesn't get any more anti-government and insinuating violence than that, so should Rand Paul be imprisoned or deported? I guess that's the question at hand. <sighs> These guys have no respect for the Constitution. I'm not sure they've even read it or know what it's talking about. And this guy's supposed to be a great civil libertarian on the Republican side. Oh, the great words of Sarah Palin, thanks but no thanks. That's not the civil libertarian I'm interested in. God, what a disaster these guys are. And a great place to launch your blog or website, HostGator. I love HostGator because they have 24-7 customer service, which is completely necessary for people who don't know how to put websites together. People like me. For $4.95 a month, that's like a latte at Starbucks. Unlimited bandwidth, unlimited disk space. They have 4,000 different types of templates that you can use to create your website. And they're super lib. They're 130% powered by wind energy. They actually are. It's completely green web hosting. For TYT viewers, HostGator is actually offering 25% off your first order or the first month totally free. Go to HostGator.com and enter Young Turks at the checkout. Plus, there's a 45-day money-back guarantee. Good night, Irene.